students of Reddit. What is your best story about the worst teacher you ever had? Teacher in high school tried to tell the class that Achilles was a Trojan soldier. I was like no he was Greek. Her no he wasn't. Me yes he was. He fights Prince Hector. Her oh yeah. Right. She sent me to the office after class for making her look bad. I got detention for disrespecting her and arguing. The rest of the Iliad lesson after that was watching Troy. Not even reading the story. In elementary school. Before religion was removed from the curriculum. I had a teacher who repeatedly gave me detention every time I asked a stupid biblical question during religion class. My parents are atheist Chinese immigrants. I had no idea who Moses was. How it was possible for him to part the Red Sea. Or how Jesus was able to turn water in wine and resurrect himself. She looked at me as if I were the Antichrist. Eventually religion was removed from the curriculum and ethics made much more sense to my 10 year old mind. In the third grade we had to do a project that started with a prompt I had a dream that. And I wrote a two page story about how I fell into the Harry Potter world and went to Hogwarts for the day. She called a parent teacher conference and accused me of plagiarism and said I could go to jail for using the Potter characters. This was in third grade. I remember I used to come home crying after her class sometimes and that was the first time I ever cursed. My mom let me call her a rich after a particularly rough day. I had a math professor from Russia who could barely speak English. He called homework training and if you didn't understand the problem he would just get mad at you. My chemistry teacher in high school was a total D. He would tell us if we didn't master chemistry, we should start picking out bridges to live under. And how you'll never get another job outside of chemistry. He would call people out in front of the class that had failed an exam. Making several girls cry. The icing on the cake was one day. A larger girl asked him if she could go across campus to grab a notebook or something she left there. He said yeah sure. You could use the exercise. He went on personal leave for the entire year. And never came back. Not a terrible teacher. But our class conditioned our math teacher, differential equations, to teach on the left side of the room. When he would walk to use the right side of the whiteboard, the entire class would look uninterested and bored. Eventually we trained him to use only one side. He finally caught on at the end of the semester when he walked to the right side of the board to get a marker and saw everyone change their posture. I had a teacher in high school who had one of those thinkers yourself and only yourself you special snowflake mentalities. Which is fine. To a certain extent. But she took it way overboard. She also taught science. A subject that didn't often support her outlook. For instance. In an effort to get us to think outside the box. She turned the poster of the periodic table upside down. Which was great except that I couldn't read the ducking periodic table. We turn in reflections about our labs. How did mixing these solutions make us feel? Then we'd have to connect the experiment to a current event. She's an English teacher now and much happier. I had an AP chemistry teacher. Who was teaching that level of course for the first time. He was horrible. He had the other AP chemistry teacher even come in and teach us a few lessons he couldn't explain properly. He would take off points on my exams because I did the mathematics in a different way than him. So he said he couldn't be sure I wasn't cheating, since all my answers were correct, because he didn't understand my work. I eventually just started mailing it in for the rest of the year when I had gotten accepted and enrolled in undergraduate. He one day said to me, you are going to fail out of college after your first semester. April of my senior year of college I sent him a copy of the letter I had received from a law school that offered my a full scholarship. Her. The Crusades happened in the 5th 6th century BC. Me. BC stands for before Christ. Her. Yes. Me. The Crusaders were Christian. Her. Yeah. 5th 6th century BC. I just stopped arguing because it was useless. Growing up. My family was pretty low income. My dad was a bus driver. And my mom worked as a social worker for HHS. My dad's work hours were late night and my mom's early morning. So they hardly got to see each other. We also could never go on vacations because of money and schedule problems. Finally one day, after years of saving, we bought tickets to Disney World. My first official vacation. I still remember to this day how this teacher, 
third grade, yelled at me that she didn't know how I could have a good time with all the homework she was going to give me, who goes on vacation during the school year. She was saying, she wound up giving me multiple assignments, including a daily two-page diary, and daily homework that was way more than what they were even doing in class. My parents were really pissed. They wound up having to get the principal involved. In the end, I still had to do my daily diary. However all of the other homework was not assigned. MRS. Rodriguez. If you still exist, I hope you have feasted on many a bag of D's. Had an engineering teacher who never graded assignments. Pretty much glanced at them. And gave a grade based off how neat it looked. Not off creativity. Then every subsequent assignment pretty. Much got the same grade. My magic number was 88 stroke 100. Was in 8th grade in middle school. I had just passed a test permitting me to skip up to a 9th grade level math class. This required me to move from 6th period math. To 5th period math. Thus switching from 5th period science. To 6th period science. Went to tell my science teacher and she freaked out and yelled in my face. You can't do that because they didn't talk to any. Went straight to the counselor. He approved of the move. My dad had a nice talk with her. When I was in the 12th grade I had an English teacher who was horribly picky with essays. Everything else was fine. But essays were very hard to get good marks on with him. I spent 15 hours writing a simple 3 page essay and finished it a few days before the due date so I could have him check it over. He took it home and said he spent about 15 minutes reading it and only checked off a few grammatical. He said the essay was fantastic. But if I fixed those I would get a very high mark. I did. I failed the essay. The same thing happened for the whole year for every essay so I had to take the course over again in summer school. My math teacher said okay after every 2 seconds. Someone in my class did a tally of how many times she said okay. It was over 224 in one class. I had a college professor for physiology that was an arrogant, self-righteous jerk. As finals were coming up, he told us that he wouldn't accept any excuses for being late to the final and that we would fail it if we weren't there at 8am. He even told us that it would be a good idea to put the number of a taxi company in our phones in case any of us had car trouble on the morning of the final. So the day of the final. We are all there early. And he walks in 45 minutes late because his wife took his cell phone and his alarm didn't go off. I was a senior in high school. And I had to retake my 10th grade English class in order to graduate. I had a rocky start my freshman and sophomore year. I kicked my butt into gear for my junior and senior year once I realized how important it was. The sophomore teacher was atrocious. She clearly hated teaching and kids. If you were confused and raised your hand to ask a question on what she was teaching that day, she would yell at you to put your hand down. If you waited until after class, she would yell at you to get out. I was so confused at the stature of this woman. I couldn't even fathom at how she became a teacher in the first place. I desperately needed this class in order to graduate. But my final straw came when we had to do a book report on the importance of poetry. I received my book report back after a couple of days, to which she graded it as an F. I spoke to her after class about it, and she said that I was in a 10th grade class, and I needed to write like a 10th grader. She literally gave me an F because the paper was too well written. I took my paper down to the guidance counselor, explained what happened and demanded that I be transferred to a different 10th grade English classroom, and that I wanted her reported. Sorry for such a long rant, but to this day it still infuriates me why someone would choose to be a teacher, and yet not care about their students in any way. We once had a chemistry teacher who always had to tell a black student to stop talking in class. At one point, she got so pissed, she slammed her textbook on the girl's desk, looked her in the eye, and screamed, you are as disobedient as your color. She was promptly fired. I had a biology professor who was a former marine. She barely spoke any English and just seemed crazy. She flipped out on the whole class because she was angry she was getting emails at midnight when she was sleeping. It was an introduction course and she taught it like we were medical students. The class average on the midterm was 32%. I dropped it after that. My very first class in high school was English. My teacher was just bat it crazy, condescending, itchy, 
just really unpleasant to be around. Her shining moment was the day that she told us that we weren't allowed to drink water in her class because there are many people in our school who are allergic to water so we have to be considerate of them. I it you not. First year stats class. I had a prof who was in his last year before retirement and extremely senile when it came to his lectures. He spent the majority of them talking about fish and fishing, not statistics. Then on his exams, he made the answer key where all of the correct answers were colored red and proceeded to print it out as the exam on a black and white printer. Obviously you could see which answers were correct without doing the work and as a result everyone in the class ended up with 100%. Sounds awesome? No. It was scaled so we all got a B. And learned absolutely nothing. TL. DR. Statistics prof likes fish. And gives away all the answers. Everyone got scaled to a B. I had a geography teacher who was Hawaiian. I live in Hawaii. And we learned nothing about geography only Hawaiian culture. Before we could enter the class we would have to do a Hawaiian chant. This was every day we had this class. When it was my turn to chant I pronounced all the words correctly but she said I had a mainland accent. I'm originally from California, so I couldn't do the chat right. She made me read the chant 7 times and I was the only one who couldn't do it. Everyone laughed at me and I cried at the door. That was the only class I ever got a F in. Had a college prof whose textbook consisted of a binder filled with powerpoints. Photocopies of two old textbooks and other random crap I was doing a homework assignment one night. One question told me to refer to a chart on page X of the book. The book ends 20 pages before page X. It also references page Y, which turned out to be a PowerPoint that had nothing to do with the assignment. I emailed that prof that night. This was a Thursday. Assignment was due Monday. Asking where the chart was and explaining that the directions were wrong. An hour before class on Monday. No response. So I do the best I can from my notes and turn it in. Three hours after the class is over. I get a reply email from prof. He calls me an idiot. Saying I should have known it anyway. And also saying that he knew the assignment referenced pages X and Y. Ended up getting those questions wrong. Along with a good majority of the class. There's always my math professor who would say it's not my job to teach you, it's your job to teach yourselves. He'd constantly complain about the textbook he had us buy, that he chose to use. It was absolutely a terrible textbook. But it was far better than his lectures which consisted of him going on about bug procreation, the Golden Gate Bridge, and starfish migration patterns in the Atlantic. He'd get angry whenever anyone asked him a question. And I don't think throughout the entire math class he went through a single full problem. My history teacher was an idiot. And I mean, an idiot. She took 10 points off a 5 point question. Why are there so many salt plains in West Africa? Because, in her words, a very smart student like you should be more specific. It's not West Africa. Not just West Africa. What the duck. Edit. I didn't ray read before posting. My apologies for the rampant typos. Here's my experience with two separate professors at the university I'm currently attending. One of them, an art history prof from freshman year, was easily the most obese person I've ever seen. Ever. That's not the bad part. Obviously he can choose to live his life however he wants, but it made him slow and inactive. The entire class would be spent in the dark, with him not moving from his seat. Going through slides of art, he would get really upset with us when we didn't know the answer to his poorly worded questions. But the worst of it was that, because he was so heavy, he would get winded from talking. Every few words was broken up by this drawn out hissing inhale. And this piece is, hiss, from the, renaissance era. Hiss and it would take him forever to get through a sentence. Needless to say, I slept through most of the class. Happy ending, all our tests were take home. Another teacher, who taught motion graphics, had us do sar animations. I did mine pro drug use and took the opportunity to make it about the show Breaking Bad. It was all about how people should smoke meth to save Walter White. Yada yada. After I was done, he asked me if I'd ever smoked meth. I told him no, and he said good, don't. It feels like taking a brick to the face. Like smoking a permanent marker. Ha, you don't say. 
I had a history professor my first year of college who could come to class late every day and show us movies every class. I learned absolutely nothing and when he did actually lecture, he made no attempt to hide his political biases. For the grand finale, our final for the class was a 15 page paper due to him by email. About 2 weeks before grades were due to the university, I didn't do the paper. Purposefully, I sent him a blank word document. This professor emails me literally 2 hours before grades were due those 2 weeks after I submitted it telling me he's having trouble reading the paper. Clearly this guy didn't even plan on spending time reading or grading our work. So I didn't respond. Gotta be in the class. With that final paper being one of two assignments we'd had during the entire semester. TL. DR. Didn't do the final. Gotta be anyway. We had an AP government and econ teacher who was horrible. I'm talking would file her nails for the first half of class. Mumble through the second half. And often would just stick a video in to avoid teaching. And she was the AP teacher. A lot of us complained regularly to the principal. Guidance counselor. Act. On a weekly basis. We tried to learn the material ourselves. We were. After all. Smart kids. Often overlapping in other AP classes. I was personally also in AP English and Calculus and blew those tests away. Well when it came time for the AP Government and Econ test, without discussing it beforehand, every single student wrote an essay on how they would have passed the test had the school listened to the complaints of everyone about their teacher. Every. Single. Student. We had to have a talking to. No one got higher than a 2 on that test and she wasn't allowed to teach AP after that year. Had an English 102 class in college. The professor came in the first day and informed everyone that we would be reading and critiquing very specific works around a central theme. Specifically, how society is terrible to women. We read articles on spousal abuse, domestic violence, rape, glass ceilings, and radical feminist literature. We had to write five papers, mostly critiquing the works. The professor was openly hostile towards every male in the class, and did whatever she could to make us feel uncomfortable. Somehow she made the argument that all men are rapists, and if we were not physically raping some poor girl, we were guilty by association. Like guys sit around and brag about rape. Free bit of advice. We don't. I refused to be bullied by her hostility and took it on as a challenge. By the end of the quarter, I was the only male in the classroom. Our final paper was on whatever subject we wanted. Fully researched. It had to be about a topic we've discussed. So, in my infantile wisdom I wrote a 10 page paper on spousal abuse. Women abusing husbands. An interesting topic BTW. If you want to look it up. She returned the paper with a C grade. Claiming that even though the research was sound. And the writing was college level. She simply could not agree with the subject matter. She wrote this on the assignment. It was a simple matter of going to the dean and discuss what happened. My grade was bumped and I never saw her on campus again. TL. DR evil feminist Nazi tries to indoctrinate freshman class. I provoked her. Justice. Edit. For the record. I have no ideological issue with feminism. Just like I have no issue with anyone else's philosophy. It was an individual who was spewing the hate. I didn't expect a debate on feminism. Though I probably should have. It happened. But I am loving the hate. With this much flowing through me I'll be a Sith any minute. In 1960, I was in 4th grade in a public school. As in many schools during this era we had nuclear attack drills and had to sit under our desks. As if a desk would protect us from a bomb or nuclear fallout. My teacher would make us repeat bible verses and have us repent our sins as part of the drill to my 9 year old self. This was terrifying. Well. I'm 62 now and still have nightmares about this. I hate her to this day. Though most of the teachers I have had in my past have been great there was Mrs. F my high school chemistry teacher. The first day of high school chemistry the teacher usually explained the curriculum and standards of their classroom etc. The teacher started off her class with this sentence. I am not a teacher. I am a facilitator. From that point on I knew it was going to be a rough year. She never helped students after class or during lunch with anything. She was a sour divorced woman who hated all men because of this. 
Halfway through the year a female student who was usually in trouble took it upon herself to take the foil wrapper from a stick of gum and shape it as if it were a plug being inserted into an outlet. The teacher hadn't noticed her fiddling with it all class but the class did. Needless to say she inserted it into the outlet and it made a loud pop and lights flickered. The teacher saw it in the outlet because all of the kids were staring right at it and because I sat next to this chick she came up to my desk assumed it was me, took my books off my desk through tea hem across the room, and demanded me to go to the house principal. Anytime I tried to explain my side of the story she'd just talk over and me and ignore me. I left and had explained the scenario to the principal and she asked the class what truly happened I was in the clear. From that point on I couldn't even sneeze in her class without her giving me BTIs or yelling at me. I was happy to find out she passed away when I was in college. Duck that itch. Edit. Removed real name.